Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Wednesday in her dance outfit. So let's get started. To draw Wednesday all ready for her dance, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And come right across, say about this wide, and draw another circle. There, so now I have my two circles in. I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes and put two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. There, so now my eyes in, I'm gonna come to the top and we're gonna spruce them up. So let's start with a curve right over this eye. And we're gonna extend it out just a tiny bit. So we're going to anchor her eye with this curve right above, and then we're just going to pop it out a tiny bit right there. So same thing here. Just give it a little curve right there, anchor her eye, then come out, and just give it a tiny little curve. Just going to spruce them up a little bit because she's all decked out for her dance, right? <laughs> okay, and then at the bottom right here, we're just going to add like maybe three little lashes. And same thing here. So just like the original that I drew of her. And then let's come in between and we're just going to once again draw a little tiny um, straight line for her mouth. So let's say about right here. Lightly, just go ahead, go across very lightly. <laughs> and I'm just going to curve it up a tiny, tiny bit towards this corner. There. And then now let's draw her brow. So I'm going to come above her eye, say about right here, and I'm just going to give a soft arc and then thicken it up. A lot of it's going to be covered by her bangs, but it's still important to draw her brow. So just make sure we get that in there. And then when you're coloring it, just make this part a little bit darker to make it look more like her. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's go ahead and frame her face. So I'm going to come really close to these lashes and come right here with a point and a point. And I'm going to go ahead and start to draw bottom of a U. I'm going to bring it in. So right around her eye, I'm going to find my center. So let's say about right here. And I'm just going to bring this curve in. Bring it all the way down to about right there, and then same thing on this side. This is always the most delicate part, so I'm going to go a little bit slower. Okay, so then now that I have this curve in, I'm going to bring this, let's see here, I'm going to bring this up a tiny bit more, and here. Now from there, we're just going to imagine an oval, so then we're going to come back to the center ball right here, and I'm going to start her bangs. So let's just say right here, I'm going to give myself a point and let's go ahead and we're going to draw some strands. So one comes really close down to her brow and we're going to go up nice and thin and then another one and we're going to hit her brow every time and come down. So same thing here. Come up, go down, up, down. So this strand is meant to be very thin, so, and then, because it's kind of parting in the center a little bit more. Then we're going to just come back right here and just zigzag our way across right over her brow. And then just go ahead and taper it in. There. Then we're going to come back to here and we're going to go up. And here. And we're going to come back to the center, so we're going to go up nice and high. So back to our center. So let's say about right here. I'm going to give myself a point and connect. And same thing here. Up. 
there. That's for her bangs. And then we're going to pop in her ear right in this area. Curve and in. Curve and in. And let's draw some details inside for her ear. And same thing here. There. Okay, so then now to spruce it up even more, she has these braids that's just wrapped around her hair. So I'm going to come right here, your ear, and we're just going to start to draw a bunch of curves that go all the way around. So this is just a simplified way of creating it, giving her hair some texture to make it look like this. She has these braids at the top. So we're just going to go all the way around. So hopefully I'm making it easier for you to draw her and not too complicated and bring it down there. And then what makes it look really nice is we'll put, we'll put some strands later. But if you want to put some texture on her braids, you can go ahead and just come right here. And every little spot right here, you can just go ahead and just draw some of these curves that come in just here and there. Nothing too complicated because everything is kind of black, so it's really hard to see anyways. But if you want, you can add some texture like that with some of these curves. Okay, so then now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and draw her beautiful dress. So right in the center, we're gonna give her a little neck, and then we're just gonna connect it with a curve. Then we're gonna draw this beautiful collar that she has. I'm gonna pop this out, come down, Come down and then right in the center, we're going to cut it off and then connect right here. There. And then we're going to come down for her shoulders. So just come down about right here and here. And then in this spot right here, I'm not going to go too much further because she has these poofy sleeves on her dress. So I'm going to come about right here and I'm just going to wobble my way across all the way down right there and then in the center area we're going to come down two straight lines and there might be like a little button here so i'm just going to put a little circle there then from there we're going to draw these beautiful poofy sleeves so i'm going to pop this out and i'm going to try to simplify it and only draw three layers of this to to give it that texture. So here we go. We're gonna pop this out, not too much, just a little bit and a little bit right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wobble my way down all the way across. There. Then you can come in here, just draw these little lines. And then maybe one more layer here. Just come out a little bit again. And connect and then once again all these little lines if you like and let's see should we put one more maybe one more I think we need a little bit more so just come down about right here come in a little bit more just want to make it nice and full just tuck in this other thinner layer right underneath Okay, so hopefully I've uh, captured the texture of her dress. And then now let's imagine her armpit area will be about right here. So I'm gonna come right about here and draw two angle lines. So nice and center, bring this down to about right there. And we're going to stop about right there where her waist would be. But before I finish this, I'm gonna come right here in the center and just gonna draw this little buckle there so it's kind of like a C and then in this area I'm going to come in here and put in this beautiful belt there okay then now we can go ahead and start to pop it out So now that we're pretty level, I'm going to go ahead and wobble my way across and back up. 
So the curve all the way across and now we can start to poof it out. So we're going to poof it out to about right here. And once again, we're just going to go ahead and wobble all the way across. And so I'm just going to go ahead and come down, add some more layers. And see how low you want to bring your dress. Go across. Let's see here, maybe another one comes down a little bit more. Right there. Up and let's put one more. So a little bit shorter. And now they're about the same level. Go ahead and connect it once again. There. So hopefully I've uh, captured the texture of her beautiful dress here. And you can just do that all the way across. But I think I'll leave that for when I'm coloring it. And now that I have that, let's go ahead and draw her legs. So our center, we're going to come down. So about right here and here here. We're going to go ahead and start with this leg. So come in a little bit, just a little bit angle, a little bit of an ankle. And then we're going to flare it out for her feet. And taper it in. There. And I'll just come right here and draw a curve. And another curve. I'm not too sure what kind of shoes she's wearing because it's really dark and everything's black. So I'm just giving her a very generic pair of shoes. Connect right here. Come out and taper in. And once again, curve and curve. There. Okay, so then now for her arms. So just imagine her shoulders are right here and then her arms will be coming down to about right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a curve. It's gonna come in a little bit more towards her waist and then it's gonna come out. So we're just using her skirt so that we don't have to draw too many details and I'm gonna bring it to, let's say about right here. And taper in. And then in this space, we're just gonna draw a curve to finish it off. There. So same thing over here. She's imagining her shoulders coming down. So once again, towards her waist, bring it in and then out. And about right there, just like the other side, bring it in. And come right back here. And draw a curve. There. Okay, so then now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and finish off her hair. So right in this area, we're going to draw some strands. I'm just going to curve, create some strands, make her hair look extra pretty. And then maybe, let's see here, here. And here, and so let's see here, what else do I need to add to this? Oh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully, once again, I have captured the look of Wednesday, but this time in her um, dance outfit. And I really hope I helped you draw her fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.